can already tell today's going to be a good day. Coffee feels like it's giving me energy today and not anxiety. So that's a huge win. Lots to do, lots to paint. A little bit of prep to do this morning, but I'm excited. First initial cut using the next level block 320 on there. You can even see with the texture, the highs and the lows. So knowing what I see here, I'm just gonna keep cutting this area. I know there was a repair there. I'm gonna keep cutting that until it's nice and flat before I switch over to 600 grit. And once that's nice flat and 600, just buzz the area and then I'm gonna send it. This is all I gotta prep for this job. Flying close to the sun right here, slight burn through, but it's nice and straight, nice and flat. It's hard to tell without any shine on it, but it's looking good. So the idea here is take the, the door off, hang it on stand, hang the fender on the stand, and then the upper bumper cover. Those are going black. Rear bumper, lower, and a side skirt are going gray. The way I'm gonna set it up in the booth, I won't have that much color interference, but I'm gonna do both colors at the same time. Save time, save money, be efficient. And then I got a Ford that I gotta do next. This guy was a little bit extra. There's our repair. And there's a little dent right here. It's aluminum. I didn't trust my PDR skills to skim and filler. Lots of room to blend. You got blend time anyways on the door, so figure. Just take care of it. Here's what we got. Bumper, front lower, side skirt. Another piece going here, which is the hitch cover. Bumper, black, fender door, black. This is all down low, not really seen. Put one last coat of gray on it, and the gray's dark anyways. Not too worried, but we got lots of stuff in the booth. Might add a piece here, like the side bumper piece, not related to the claim, but it's got a nasty mark in it. Might just buzz it down and quickly splash it black with the rest of it. This stand is absolutely paying dividends at this point. So many parts can be fit on here, not just bumpers like this. But I'm thinking that other piece might zip tie it right here if it fits. Otherwise, I might have to hang it up. But uh, these stands, go get some. Super, super handy. I was even thinking I could probably build some sort of attachments to hold even more parts. So if I had more bars, you know, I could hold something to here. I could lay more stuff, hang more stuff, whatever. I think I might end up doing that one day. Let's try and figure out, you know, put a sleeve in a, a bolt right here so I can slide and lock in place and have an arm flip and flop around. I'm supposed to be getting new neighbors. Rumor is a tire shop maybe. Might be handy. I don't think Jason over here will be too happy, but at least it's not another body shop. things on the mind obviously but I was sealing this and I was like why is this so dusty I forgot to tack it off after I degreased it got a little distracted but a little bit of 800 right here knock the tops off base coat won't even know the difference so when I was spraying this bumper I immediately knew oh man I forgot so I tacked all of that I was like okay I think we can survive as long as I didn't spray every single panel. Might need to use a few sheets of sandpaper to get through this, but so far so good. It's not that bad. This is definitely something that I know all you PPG guys can't do, and that is sand your sealer. If I had this happen with the old sealer I had when I sprayed EnviroBase, oh, I'd be pissed because I would not be able to get this be nice and easy to sand. I'd have to wait like two hours before I even get a shot at it. You have to start putting base coat on, let that dry for a while, then sand it, which sucks, but this is way easier. Back to back on a silver or a gray like this. Look at this. Blood watching, blood modeling, none of it. You need a dry, put a scroll coat on. Let's go. I love that I made it. It's so easy. 
me to have boxes of cups in my mixing room right where I need it. It's as if I made the shelf specifically for my SATA cups. Just got doing a job. Really annoying one, all those pieces, but there's the waste of today. We're going to add that to the container. There you have it. Two jobs in, and we're sitting. We're averaging about 12 and a half milliliters of waste or half of an ounce per job of waste. So not bad. Hey, that's not bad. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Here's that gun with some metallics. That's not bad. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Who would have thought, eh? That looks good. Let's see if I can transport this out of the booth without knocking it all off. I did it. Might be crazy, but I'm gonna try and go back to back on J7. Of course, metallics, it can be a little bit of a fight to get the color laid down nice, but it's not a silver. So I'm thinking that it should be fine. Half the color mix is black, the other half is metallic, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. I guess you can always do another orientation coat that does work out and it sorts it out easily. That back to back coat is starting to look really good. Beautiful blend right through there. Check it with the Sun Pro light once it's fully dry. See if I got any modeling or not. I doubt it. Roll control coat, just send it. I was pushing the limits of this clear. Just finished, and this is all I have left. Literally nothing. I got really lucky that as soon as I just finished spraying, it was out. So I'm gonna put another one on here, because that is job number three, and even if there's nothing in there, it still counts.